Well, let's go ahead. We're going to start out just coming on to the back body. And just take your time and get nice and comfortable. And if you'd like to have a, a blanket or a pillow or any props that you would like, go ahead and grab whatever you want. Um, otherwise, just come on to the back body and get nice and comfortable. Take your time. And obviously, if there's anything that you need through class, feel free to jump up and grab it or do whatever you need to do. That's kind of the, the beauty of the at home yoga process. So, so let's go on to the back body and just get nice and comfortable. Maybe use your blanket behind your head if you'd like. I'm going to do at least it's a nice little prop. You just come right on down and just get nice and comfortable. And just close the eyes. And begin to deepen the breath. Just notice the breath. Notice it moving into the nose and into the chest and into the belly. Just really envision the belly lifting up high when the breath comes in and see if we can move the breath through the upper chest and then back out through the nose and just keep the lips sealed. Really concentrate on lengthening that breath. So when you breathe in, just sip a little bit more air in through the nose, almost even pause at the top of the inhalation just for a very brief moment and then very slowly, even slower than you breathed in, let the air go throughout the nose. And lips remain sealed. So begin to create that, that sound as though envision that we were fogging a mirror with the lips closed, that ha sound, or our ujjayi pranayama breath. Just create a ocean-like sound with the breath. Just a few breaths at your own pace. Focus on the breath. Focus on lengthening it out. As you breathe in, just kind of do a mental check with the body. Just notice how the body is arriving on the mat this morning. If there's any tension, if even we need to lengthen just a little bit, feel free to move the body and just get into more of a comfortable spot. Just notice any tension that we might be holding on to. See if we can send the breath there. Just envision the breath moving to wherever that tension is at. Just envision the breath wrapping around the tension. If you're tight through the back or the legs, the feet, anywhere. Just envision that breath moving there, sweeping into that area, wherever it may be. And then as you exhale, just envision that tension leaving the body and just soften a little bit deeper into your mat. Just really let go, cleansing with this breath. Anything in the body, let the breath come in. Sweep it away and let it go. Just melt. And same with the mind. Any, any tension in the mind, anything that the mind might have playing in the background, anything that is bouncing us from past to future, just see if you can envision the breath going there, and just softening that that movie of our mind, vision, breath softening it and just let it go and create that blank canvas for your practice. Just 
And throughout the practice, when the mind begins to wander, as it will, throughout the day as well, just come back to this breath. Come back to the breath and envision it softening, just letting go. A couple more times, maybe create an intention for your practice. It's just a, a mantra, maybe one word or phrase that brings peace to the mind that you can come back to. Just envision that. Breathe it into the body. Begin to find some movement in the fingers and the toes, just spreading everything wide. You can roll the palms a little bit, roll the feet a little bit. Mm, take a full body stretch when you're ready. Oh, full body stretch. Mm, maybe shift one hip at a time. Pedal the feet a little bit. Spread the palms out wide. Just roll the wrists a little bit. Roll the wrists and come into that goal post arm. And just bend the, bend the elbows. Open the palms out wide. Let the back of the hands just come onto the mat. Take a couple of breaths right here. Just envision the shoulders nice and open. Chest nice and open. And then go ahead and interlace the fingers. Oh, flip the palms back behind us. Take that full body stretch once again. Full breath in through the nose. You can open the mouth to exhale. Just release the fingers. Bring the palms up and overhead and down by the sides of the body. Mm. Just pause here again, just take a couple breaths. And let's actually bring both feet onto the mat for just a moment and just lift the hips just a little bit up off of the mat and set the bum back down just a little closer to the feet. Just find some length throughout the back body. Kind of reposition the back body. And we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just actually, just windshield wiper the knees, just a little bit back and forth, just kind of wake up that low back. Just gently back and forth. Mm. And then go ahead and bring the knees in towards the chest. Just give yourself a nice big hug. Nice big hug and rock back and forth on the low back. Maybe take a couple circles if that feels good. Mm, and then keep the right knee in. Interlace the palms just right up on top of the knee. And extend the left leg all the way out. And just pull that right knee in. Maybe even pull it out just a tiny bit towards the right. And then just back towards the body. You can just let the left leg relax and just roll a couple of circles with that right foot. Roll a couple of circles and roll a couple of circles over towards the left. Hello, Petey. And then go ahead and extend that leg up towards the sky. And same thing. We're going to just roll a couple of circles with the foot. This is Macy and Petey, by the way. One of the real stars of the show here today. Hi. <laughs> um, and then go ahead, just pull the knee back in. Pull the knee back in. We're going to keep the left hand just up on top of the, the right shin. And then go ahead and just pull that knee all the way over. We're gonna find a twist here. So just bring that right knee all the way over towards the left. You can open up the right palm. And then if it feels good, maybe even just extend this leg all the way over. So just an option to extend the leg. And if it doesn't feel good, if it feels a little tense on the low back, you can always just come back a little bit with it and just very gently give a twist. So just see what feels okay here. And if it does feel good, maybe even take the gaze out over towards the right. Just an option. 
just breathe wherever you're at. Just breathe. And then go ahead and just re-bend the knee and slowly come back onto the back body. Just tug that knee in towards the chest one more time. And then go ahead and extend the leg out. Just take a couple of breaths. Just the leg extend it out. Take a full body stretch. Breathe in. And then just bring the palms back by the sides of the body. And we're gonna bring the knees in one more time. Again, just windshield wipe of the knees. This time, just walk them out a little bit further. Mm. Walk the knees out a little bit further. And go ahead, kind of walk them back in and pull that left knee in towards the chest this time. Left knee comes in and extend the right leg out. Extend the right leg all the way out. Ah, maybe pull the left knee just out towards the left a little bit and then give a nice tug. And go ahead and just roll some circles with that left ankle. Change the direction. And extend the foot up to the sky. Go ahead and extend it up. And same thing. Some nice circles. Spread the toes out. Let's do what feels good here. Nice, gentle. You don't have to straighten the leg. This is a really big stretch, actually, especially for early in the morning. So. Just you know, go with what feels okay for you and the body this morning. Mm. Nice circles. And go ahead and just re-bend that knee, pull it in towards the chest. Right hand this time stays on top of that left shin. And just go ahead and pull it all the way over this time. Towards the right, maybe extend the leg if that feels good. You can extend the left arm out. Maybe even look over the left leg, so, or excuse me, over the left arm. So that's a really big stretch. If it's too much, go ahead and just bring that knee back in and kind of just let the shoulder come back down onto the earth and just a little stretch there. So your choice here, big stretch or little stretch, just go with where the body feels good this morning. If it feels okay on the back body, go ahead and go for it. Just envision that left shoulder actually getting really heavy and coming down towards the mat really just wringing anything out any tension that we're holding on to just envision wringing that spine out still using that breath that cleansing breath bringing it in exhaling letting everything go Go ahead and just re-bend the knee, slowly come back onto the back body. Oh. And go ahead, we're going to take another full body stretch. Just kind of shake it all out. Shake everything out, maybe tread one hip at a time a little bit again. Mm. Just soften and let's go ahead and re-bend those knees one more time. Just back and forth, windshield wipe of the knee. Mm, walk the feet in towards one another, find a pause with your windshield wiper. Walk the feet in and just let the knees come apart, just into Supta Baddha Konasa, our reclined bound angle pose. The so soles of the feet come together, knees come apart. If this is just really not comfortable for you this morning, which is completely okay, just take the feet apart instead to the edges of the mat and let the knees come in towards one another. This is actually a really great pose for the low back. If you have any low back tension and throughout the day, you just want to take a break and come into this pose. This is great. So knees, a little bit hard to see, but knees 
are coming in towards one another to feet apart. So that's another option as well. So both of these are just great postures to do at home throughout the day. If things are just a little crazy or just at the end of the day, if you just want to quiet things down a little bit. So just a couple of options. And then we're going to walk the feet back apart from one another and just Soles of the feet right back down onto the mat. Pull the knees in one more time. And find your happy baby pose. So lift those feet. Take your peace fingers, grasp onto the big toes. If you want to, you can grasp onto the back of the thighs if that's a little more comfortable. You can grasp onto the insides of the feet. Just see where your body is this morning. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead. We'll bring the feet in towards one another. Your choice, you can either rock up to a seated pose, if that feels good, just kind of rock and roll on the back a little bit, or you can just roll over and just gently push your way up to a seated position. So let's go ahead, just find a nice, comfortable seated position. If you would like to use your blanket, um, you can. <laughs> that's an option for you. Um, unless you have somebody that's decided to, um, to take it this morning, which is totally fine. So your option. You can sit on a blanket though and just kind of lift the bum up a little bit and just come into a comfortable um, cross-legged position. If you want to, if it's just not comfortable to sit cross-legged, that's completely okay. You can stretch the feet out. You can bring them off to the side. Just see what feels good for you. But otherwise, just find a nice, comfortable cross-legged position. Let's go ahead and just sit nice and quietly for a moment. Just take a full breath in here and envision the crown of the head really lifting, just lengthening through the spine. Let's take a couple breaths. Blink the eyes open and go ahead and just, we're going to begin, just lift the palms, lift the gaze, take a full breath in and twist it out. Go ahead and bring that right hand behind you. Lift up and back with the right shoulder. Take that upper back body twist. Mm. Just breathe. And then just gently unwind from the belly, then bring the gaze forward, plant the left palm, reach up with the right. Mm. Nice stretch through the side body. Nice stretch. And then go ahead and bring the palm down. Let's go ahead and bring the left palm up. And we're going to cross the right palm up on top of the left. Just come into an eagle arm pose. So see what feels good here. So right palm, right arm up on top of the left. And if it just doesn't feel good to connect the hands, that's okay. But just envision those shoulder blades really opening up apart from one another here. Just really envision a nice opening with the shoulder blades. And then we're gonna go ahead and just make some circles. Oh. Make some nice circles. Um, change the direction of your circle. Mm. And pause, just unwind. Oh, bring it back, roll those shoulders a few times. Now let that go. And then bring the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Just take a couple of nods. And just roll the head forward and over towards the left. Same thing, a couple of nods on this side. Roll it back forward, back over to the right. One more time, a couple of nods. Mm. And then roll it forward and just pause, just let that chin kind of tuck, let it go. We're gonna tilt from the belly, tilt all the way forward, just 
nice long through the back and go ahead and take a forward fold here just let go so if you have the legs crossed you should feel a nice almost like a pigeon stretch coming through the leg that is in the front on your crisscross applesauce and then just gently walk it back up just roll back up roll it back up just oh roll the shoulders maybe a couple times just kind of shake it out a little bit and we're going to change directions here with the feet so change the cross of the legs opposite legs out in front now that feels like a weird way a little bit and then let's go ahead and lift the hands up towards the sky breathe it in and take that twist this time over towards the left Just little deco fingers push them into the earth behind us roll that left shoulder up and back take the gaze back behind us mm. couple breaths right here and then just gently unwind Unwind from the belly, unwind through the upper back body, plant the right hand, lift up with the left. Take that nice stretch through the left hand side. I'm gonna go ahead, just bring the hand on down. Bring it on down, open up with the palms. This time, the left, excuse me, the right, left? <laughs> left for you guys. Yeah, the opposite one. Let's just go that way. See what the opposite one is, but it should be the, ah, the left arm coming up on top of the right. Getting confused now, you guys. <laughs> go ahead and take a couple of circles though. Opposite arm up on top. Opposite arm up on top. Yeah, left arm up on top. Sometimes the mirroring just throws me off a little bit. All right, so go ahead, just a couple of nice big circles. Mm. And then release it, oh, bring it back, just roll those shoulders, roll it out. Take the left ear this time, we'll begin with the left ear over towards the left shoulder and then just take a couple of nods. Couple of nice nods there, lengthen through that right hand side of the neck. And go ahead and roll it all the way forward. Opposite side, couple of nods. All the way back forward. Couple of nods again over here. And then this time, if you'd like to, you can bring the gaze back. Maybe. Go ahead and just a couple times if that feels good. If it really feels good, go ahead and take a couple of nice big rolls all the way around with the head. Um, make sure to change the direction. Pause. Go ahead. We're going to drop the chin once again. Feel that tilt coming through the hips. Go ahead, tilt all the way forward, all the way forward. Oh, take a nice forward fold. Let the head go. Let it go. And then just gently rise back up. Roll back up with the body. Nice. Ah. Oh shoulders a little bit to see what feels good here roll the wrist out for a moment and then we're gonna come all the way up onto the palms and onto the knees into your table pose so if you're on a rug or a cushion you're good if it feels a little too stiff underneath the knees and you'd like to put a blanket underneath there go ahead and do so but just from your table pose Feel that length still through the spine. Open up the palms nice and wide. And then go ahead, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, breathe it in. 
Exhale, round. Pull the belly in, let the head go. Go ahead and lift back up into your cow pose. Lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale, round. Just move at your own pace for a few cycles of your cat cow. Just use the breath. Use the breath to ignite the movement in the body. We'll go ahead, you can keep it the cat cow, or if you'd like to maybe make some circles with the hips, go ahead and do that. It feels really nice. A lengthen out through the through the body a little bit. Change direction. And then go ahead and just gently sink it back and take a child's pose. Take your time, just gently sink back and take a child's pose. So sink it on down. Let the head go. Reach the palms forward. Keep the knees nice and wide if that feels good. Let the head go and just take three nice big cycles of breath here. Right here in your child. Let the head completely go onto the earth. Nice big breath. And then go ahead and take a breath in and lift up. And we're going to come back into our, our table pose. And we're going to begin, go ahead and lift with the right arm. We begin with the right arm. We're going to lift it up towards the sky and just take a nice gaze up at that right arm. And we're going to thread it underneath the left arm. Just lay that right shoulder down onto the earth. You can walk the left palm forward a little bit and really get a nice opening between the shoulder blades. So an option here, I'm gonna just face forward to show this a little bit, an option if you'd like to, is to even step out with that left leg. So let that be an option. Just take a couple of nice big breaths here. And really open through that upper back body. Mm. The leg stepping out is just an option. And then just slowly pull the palm back in. Go ahead and bring the knee back in. Unwind. Oh, go ahead and lift the palm back up to the sky. Just undo it. And then bring it on back down to the earth. Let's change direction here. Let's lift with the left palm. Lift up with the left. Go ahead, thread it underneath. Thread it underneath. Walk it forward. Walk that right hand forward. And if it feels good, step out with the right foot. Just take your time. Just breathe here. Go ahead and breathe. Hmm. Open up between those shoulder blades and then just gently bring the knee back in. Ooh, if you have it extended, bring the palm back in, unwind. Oh, maybe lift up with that hand and bring it on down. Let's just do a couple of cat cows. Lift the tailbone, lift the gaze, breathe it in. Exhale, round it out. Mm. One more time. Breathe in, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Go ahead. Round it out. And then we're going to just begin just to step back just one foot at a time. Just stretch through the calves. Just tread it out one foot at a time. Go ahead and stretch through the calves. One foot at a time. And then if you'd like to keep doing that, just of walking your table out or come into downward facing dog and same thing you can walk your down dog out your choice here 
Just walk it out. And then when you're ready, either walk your table or walk your dog all the way to the front of the mat. Just come into a nice forward fold. Maybe grasp onto opposite elbows. Just rock it out a little bit. Go ahead and rock it out. Oh, you can let the hands go. and You can keep a nice bend into the knees if you'd like to for this forward fold. It's a big stretch early in the morning. Or begin to lengthen through the back of the legs, through the thighs, kind of lift through the thighs a little bit. Just really get that nice length. And then we're going to take a bend into the knees, push into the feet, kind of like we're lifting something. Flat back, rise all the way up, all the way up. And bring the palms to heart center. So just give a little adjustment to see the camera here. There we go. So go ahead. Just a nice full lift. Breathe in and exhale. Take a forward fold. Bring the palms up to your shin. Find some length. And exhale. Forward fold once again. Little bend into the knees, rise all the way up. All the way up, breathe it in. And exhale, palms to heart center. One more time, exactly like this. So breathe in, nice big breath, lift towards the sky, exhale, forward fold. Palms to the shins, find some length. The back of the legs and exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up, all the way up. Breathe it in. And exhale, palms to heart center. So we're gonna add on just a little bit this time. So go ahead, breathe in, lift the palms, lift the gaze. Breathe it in and exhale. Take a nice forward fold. Bring the palms up to the shin, lengthen through the back of the legs. And exhale into your fold. Take a nice bend into the knees and step back with the left foot, just like we did last time. And keep that right knee forward. And we're going to bring the left knee down onto the earth. I'm going to tilt this iPad just a little bit again to show. Oops. Just show coming down here. There we go. Perfect. So I have my right foot forward. I have my left knee back. You can flip the mat if you'd like to. But go ahead, just sink down, pull back with that right hip a little bit. You want the right ankle directly underneath the knee. Nice sink down, nice lunge. Go ahead and rise up. Rise up, so option number one is just keeping the palms right here on top of the thigh. That's your first option. Option two, is lifting the palms up to the sky and just dropping the shoulders down nicely. Feeling nice and open through the heart. And if you're in option number two, let's go ahead and interlace the palms. This is option three, I guess you could say. So you can stay right there and see or interlace the fingers behind the back body and pull the shoulders back. And then maybe even take a little bit of a tilt back. So this is an option. So just see if it feels okay. Mm, and then go ahead and just gently release. We'll release the palms, come back all the way down onto the earth, and then sink back. Sink back, see if we can point the right toe to begin with as we sink back, kind of get a stretch through the top of the right foot, and then gently peel the right foot up. Still square off with that right hip, Lengthen, take your fold. Mm. Couple breaths right here. And then just gently sink back down. Sink back down to the foot. Go ahead and tuck the left toes. Lift up with the left knee. Step all the way forward. Just bring the palms up to the shins, lengthen through the back of the legs, and exhale back into our forward fold once again. A little bend into the knees, step back this time. 
with the left foot, or excuse me, <laughs> keep the left foot forward, sit back with the right foot. My bad, sorry guys. So left foot stays forward, right foot is back. You can flip the mat if you'd like a little bit of cushion underneath the knee, that's a nice option. Go ahead and untuck the right toes. Left foot is forward, knee and ankle are in line with one another. Go ahead, really feel a nice squared off hip here as we rise up, use that core strength, rise up, Take a breath right here. You can stay right here if you'd like to. You can lift the palms if you'd like to. That's an option. Open up through the shoulders. And if you have the hands lifted, let's go ahead and bring the hands behind the body. So you can interlace the fingers. See if you can interlace them kind of the opposite way of the fingers being stacked. Just see if that can happen. And then if you do have the fingers interlaced, Maybe pull the shoulders back. Maybe bring the gaze up just a little bit. Just see where the body wants to go this morning. Mm. And then just gently release. Go ahead and release the hands. Fold it forward, back into your lunge, and then sink back. Point through that left toe to begin with. Get a nice stretch through the top of the left foot. And then lift up with the toes. Find some length through the upper body and exhale. Forward fold. Forward fold. Mm. It's really lengthened. Feels good. And then go ahead and step back forward. Let's tuck through that right toe. Lift up with the right knee. Step all the way back with the left foot. You can come into plank for a moment if you'd like to. You can bring the knees down. Totally up to you here. Totally up to you. See what feels good. See what feels good. And just bring the knees down onto the mat when you're ready. Sink back into your child's pose. Just take a breath in. Let it go. And then just... Gently keep the chin tucked, but one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna roll up from our child's pose. Come all the way up. Hmm. And we're gonna bring the feet forward. Bring the feet forward. Kind of just get some of that cushion out from underneath the bum. Feet are forward. Nice lift through the heart, lift through the chest. Take a full breath in and then exhale. Take a forward fold. Let go. Just fold where it feels good for you this morning. So envision lengthening through the back of the body as we do this. Kind of even gaze at the toes. And then once you feel like your fold is where you want it to be, let the head go. You just don't overextend it. Just go where the body wants to go this morning. Don't want to push it any further. It's a nice, gentle forward fold. And then we're going to go ahead and roll back up. Roll back up. And we are going to come all the way down onto the back body. So go ahead, take your time. And get back here. Mm. So we're going to do just that classic reclined pigeon, which basically is pretty simple, just crossing the one foot over the top of the other. Mm. So go ahead and flex through. So if you started with the right foot, just flex through that right foot, reach through, grasp onto the back of the opposite thigh, grasp onto the back of the left thigh, and go ahead and maybe roll the ankle a few times few times. Just feel that nice hip opener. So pigeon is another option here. And next time we can walk through the, the classical pigeon pose. Uh, and go ahead and just bring that foot down and release the opposite foot and 
Just windshield wiper it out a little bit. Windshield wiper it out. And then let's go ahead, change sides, opposite foot. Just bring it on up, reach through, grasp onto the back, the thigh. Maybe roll the ankle a few times out, see what feels good here. Oh. Nice hip opener. Then go ahead and bring the foot down. Uncross the opposite foot again. Just windshield wiper it out a little bit. Windshield wiper the knees out. Take your time. Maybe go ahead and revisit that Supta Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles and the feet together. Let that be an option. Just closing the eyes, coming back to the breath. Or if this again just does not quite feel right to you, come back to open up the feet and bringing the knees together. Maybe even take a little bit of time and try both postures. And so again for Savasana, I'm gonna walk us into Savasana and leave you guys in Savasana this morning so you can take a nice long Savasana. But taking your time and getting comfortable and just bringing the seat out in front of you, you can use a blanket, pillow, whatever feels good. You can actually even bring the feet up against the wall to the legs up against the wall, which is a wonderful option. Just taking your time, just opening up the palms, closing the eyes. Just noticing your breath again. And then let the breath just go. Just let it be natural. Let it be its own breath. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. Just let everything soften. Just let everything be. Just absorb your practice with your savasana. Just take your time, take as long as you like this morning in the comfort of your own home and your savasana. And just enjoy it. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day and this time. Just remember to come back to the breath soften to let go again you can stay just right here in your savasana thank you so much everybody for joining me this morning so wonderful to see everybody namaste